And hello, 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 hello. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. And today let's ask God to help us to find ways to pray and to keep on reaching out to God, um, even when we're uncomfortable. This is coming to mind for me today because this morning when I went to pray, my meditation morning, just trying like in a, a little bit longer of time to be quiet inside and just kind of come back to this moment. I usually spend about 20 minutes in the morning just coming back to now. It's practice, right, for the rest of the day. And again, people argue, is this prayer, is this not prayer? Well, what do we think prayer is, right? If prayer is relationship, then I think it's prayer because I'm coming back to right now. It's like paying attention. To Emmanuel, God with us right here, right now. If we think prayer is a list of petitions or weighty thoughts, then maybe it's not. But I think it's all an intention. It's all in relationship. One of some of my favorite moments with my husband are when we lean our, together and our foreheads touch and we just take a couple breaths together. Nothing said, just being there. It's amazing, right? It doesn't last long, but those moments, wow, they're precious. And so that's what, that's my attempt to share with God and to help me practice, right? So that during the day, I can take shorter moments of being, right? Except this morning, it's never, um, I'm not particularly good at it, I would say. I'm not a meditation star. Um, at all. So I love the expression that we practice meditation. We practice yoga. There are certain things we just practice because you don't usually get it right. But this morning was particularly difficult. Like goal for me, of course, is just to be there with my breath. And my um, the word that I use as I'm praying with the breath is Abba. In, ah, out. Right, I'm saying it in my mind. And I'm not meditating on what it means or anything, just trying to be present. But this morning, my feet were cold. My nose was dripping. So I'm like, <laughs> my hands would not seem to relax. My fingers had all this tension in them. It was basically one of those, one of those times where I was like, Where's the timer? Where's the meditation timer? Why isn't it gone off yet? So I stuck with it. I don't advise you that you have to, but for whatever reason this morning, I felt like I should, so I did. Um, is that my advice to you? I think if you have questions about your prayer life, you might want to reach out for a spiritual director or for a friend um, that you feel comfortable talking with these things talking about, talking with regarding these things. Obviously, brain still scrambled. So um, if you're not sure who you can talk to or you're looking for a community or a spiritual director, please do feel free to pop me a comment or a message and I'll do my best to, uh, to get you sorted with someone or at least give you some ideas. I remember when I was going through a particularly bad time, my... Um, spiritual director advised me to watch Star Trek Next Generation. It was like the only moment of joy I had every night. I'd wait till like, I think the reruns were like at 11 p.m. This is going back before you had to wait for the channel to actually play the, and she'd say, just watch it with the Lord. Watch it with the Lord. So um, I'm not saying we should pray rough. I don't think that's what it's about. So let's ask God. Name of the Father and of the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for loving us and for helping us to pray. Forgive us for when we get overly goal oriented. Help us to remember that we love you and are loved by you. And that's the whole point of coming to you in prayer because we love each other, we're spending time with each other. It is a spiritual version of resting our foreheads against one another, just being together, 
loving each other. Of course, my relationship with my husband involves lots of other forms of being together, communication and this and that. So help us to find our ways with you as well. Holy Spirit, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your patience with us. Help us to be patient <laughs> with ourselves, especially when our bodies are just uncomfortable and we're hungry or tired. When we feel angry or lonely and our bodies react to that, right? I don't know what was going on with those fingers clenching for me this morning, whether it was whatever, but it was distracting. So help me to just be present to it because you are there with us in these moments as well. And we thank you, thank you, thank you for your gentle love. Amen. My friend, thank you for um, letting me share my experience this morning. And I guess I share it with you in the hopes that you'll feel just a little bit encouraged that, you know, whatever... I personally like routines because they keep me focused when maybe I would get thrown off the rails a little bit by stress or busyness or just whatever's going on in my life. But they're tools. That's not the object. The object is to become more and more the image of God. Be blessed, dear one, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And know that you are loved.